Linda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team today coming to you from my backyard. As you may see, I'm actually in the process of putting in a pool. So I thought I'd share a few tips of things I've learned along the way. Before you put in a pool, one of the things you really want to think about is what do you want to use the pool for? Is it a family pool? Are you going to do laps? Is it for therapy? Do you need the spa? Do you not want the spa? All those questions ultimately can be answered by sitting down and thinking about what's important to you. For us, we wanted something that was nice, relaxing, that we could enjoy and relatively small so it wasn't too hard to take care of. And so the next thing that you really want to think about is what kind of pool do you want? There are so many different kinds of pools from above ground to in ground to vinyl to gunite. So it's really important to think carefully and a lot of that goes to cost and how much you have to spend on that pool. So a good pool contractor, and I recommend talking to a couple of different ones to find out what works best for you and definitely checking references. The other thing that you wanna think about is how much space it's gonna take up in the backyard. A very common thing we see, especially in smaller backyards now, are spools or spa pools. Uh, in this particular case, again, we want a small pool that still left us with some backyard. And of course, the budget. There are many different ways to pay for the pool. Obviously, savings, or many people also take out a home equity line of credit and borrow against the home since it does add some value back into the home. During the pandemic, the demand for pools actually skyrocketed, whereas before in coastal areas, the demand for pools was not really that great. So it actually brought up the value of homes during that time. Now it's yet to see if that, that demand will stay strong or not. We'll find out in the future. The last thing to think about while you're building a pool is the amount of time it's going to take. I can tell you from experience that it's going to take longer than you think and even longer than you're told. So the biggest advice I can give is be patient. It will take time and even once it's done, many times you have a waiting period before you can even get in the pool. So you can look at it, but you can't get in yet. If you have questions about this and you're thinking about putting in a pool, feel free to give me a call. Or if you just wanna to move to a home that has a pool existing, we can talk about which option might be right for you. Please feel free to forward and share this with your friends. And thank you so much for watching.